Just talk about that. Just talk about that. It was funny, when Patrick got knighted, I couldn't have been happier if it had happened to me. Well, perhaps I could have been a little happier if it had happened to me, but I was so thrilled. Patrick and I have very similar backgrounds. We both came from very poor working class families. Um, so for someone from our walk of life to be, a, to be knighted, I actually have a picture of him, I wanted it. I wanted the picture of him on his knee with the queen, dubbing him. It makes me cry just thinking about it actually, because I'm so proud of him. And so, um, when he, he took us to dinner, he came to Los Angeles and he took us all out to dinner to celebrate his knighthood. I think it's pretty much the only time he's ever paid. Um, uh, um, so anyway, he took us to dinner and so when I walked into the restaurant, he was already there and I curtsied. Well, I was like, Sir Patrick, like that. And he went to the other, see, see, that's what you all should be doing now. Marina. The men should bow, Gates, you should curtsy, you know. Um, Star Trek for, for me not only changed my life, but gave me experiences that I never in a million years thought I would have. Um, for the premiere of First Contact, I get a call from the studio. Uh, Marina, we've just had a call from Buckingham Palace. And uh, they would like, and it, we're, the, um, the premiere of First Contact is going to be for the Prince's Trust. And so they would like you to be Prince Charles' official escort for the evening. I'm like, this is Marina. Did you mean to call Patrick? And they were like, no, no, we meant to call you. And I'm like, he wants to be my date. Yes. Right. <laughs> I've never been so nervous in my life. I was I literally in the limo to the theater. I, my husband kept saying, breathe, Marina, breathe. <laughs> I kept, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> terrified, terrified. So as you've seen, you know, at movies, uh, when they're, you know, you have to stand on a carpet and he comes along and he shakes your hand and everything. And, you get a big list of things you can and can't say. Well, you can't say anything until they speak to you. But the, th the main thing is you call them your Royal Highness the first time, and then after that you just call them Sir. Well, because I forgot and I called him Sir, I called him your Royal Highness for the rest of the evening. <laughs> and so I'm, sit so I'm sitting next to him. My husband's really pissed off because he can't sit next to me. He has to sit behind me. <laughs> And as he sat down, I heard him say, I don't care who he is, if he puts a finger on her, I'm smacking him in the back of the head. <laughs> Suddenly, it's like, whoosh, secret service around my husband, right? <laughs> like, Michael, stop it. <laughs> so anyway, Prince Charles, nice man. He's, he talks during the credits, so he doesn't talk during the movie. So when the credits, the beginning, opening credits are going through, he's talking to me and he's like, um, so how do you enjoy working in America? I'm like, it's good, it's good. <laughs> uh, he's like, do you like it better than working in England? And I said, well, actually, sir, it's oh, your Royal Highness. <laughs> you know, um, I actually, it's my dream to actually come back to England and work at the National Theatre. And he goes, oh, I'm the patron. <laughs> I'll put a word in for you. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> right. And then he said, and where are you from? I said, Tottenham. He went, Tottenham. I went, yeah, I don't suppose you've ever been there. <laughs> Unless it's to open a sports centre or something. Because, you know, you, when you hear about you're, on, you're born on the wrong side of the tracks, there were no tracks. <laughs> Not a track in sight where I came from. It's where the riots started a few years ago. That's all I have to say. Okay. So it's a pretty rough neighbourhood, um, which is probably why I'm as loud and obnoxious as I am now, because you had to be quite tough to survive. So, um, yeah, so that was it. And then halfway through the... Patrick was sitting on his other side. Halfway through the movie... Obviously not a Star Trek fan. He turns to Patrick and he goes, what's going on? <laughs> I 
But anyway, if you had said to me, you know, when I was 20, 25 years old, oh, by the way, one day you're going to be Prince Charles's date, I would have said, what are you smoking? <laughs> you know, give me some. Because uh, never in a million years would I thought that my career would take me to that, to that place. So Star Trek changed my life in nothing but good ways. There was been no, there's been no downside to being on Star Trek. So other people who complain about it, just punch them in the face, okay? <laughs> Say, Marina told me to punch you in the face. Thank you for watching these highlights from the Convention Junkies. Click here to see the full video. Please like, comment and subscribe to see more, and let us know below what you think of this video. If you would like to help us with future projects, please visit our Patreon page.